Oke. Okay. Ayo aku ngomongin Netflix again. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Jessica, for truly joining us. And uh, please do share with us a little bit about your story. And what are some of the PTSD symptoms? What PTSD is? Please do share with us. Well, when I was nine years old, I witnessed my father being killed inside our house. I saw a lot of blood everywhere. And my dad was covered in his blood while he was lying down on the ground in our balcony. He was killed by our neighbors inside our house. The event was very traumatic and unexpected happened in our life that night. Everything was changed in one day. I never know that event caused me the post-traumatic stress disorder. I studied for my degree as a counselor addiction recovery. During my degree, we studied about PTSD while, while I'm learning, I found myself in the process of dealing with my own traumatic experience. I consider myself very fortunate to not only survive, but also share my life experience, my knowledge of PTSD, how to deal with it, and how we even know we can heal or recover the nightmares event in our life that causes post-traumatic stress disorder. Here are some of the symptoms of post-traumatic syndromes. Sometimes can be diagnosed after the traumatic event, such as vehicle accident, losing our loved ones, friends, or family, changing places to places like travel, cultural language and environment, shock, you know, sometimes failures in our dreams, mm. wishes or desire, even just a divorce, abortion, or sometimes failure in our parenting, school dropout, failure for our exam, abuse or substance abuse, even the poverty, that we had experienced, sickness or illness, or any event in our own life that we didn't know how to mourn, to cry, even to shout out loud, or even to talk about it. We become angry sometimes because we compress, control, or hide our feelings because it is scary to flash back that traumatic event that affects our brain, that causes us to have the be heavier behavior to ignore or to avoid the conflict of our brain. And we are so angry to deal with, with it, or we don't know that we had post-traumatic stress disorder, but we know that it suddenly causes us to cry too sad or even to be angry. Sometimes we feel shaking and anxious about our feeling when we remember it. That suddenly changes our mood and even our mindset. Sometimes it takes three to six months or a lifetime to diagnose us or to heal our PTSD, but that's okay. We are all experienced traumatic events and everyone retains it differently. We should not be ashamed about our PTSD and know that you are not alone, my friend. It will not have experienced a traumatic event in our life. It took a long time for me to understand that I had a post-traumatic stress disorder until I study it myself. Now I am happy to share my life experience and to help others to heal and recover. Maybe you are just like me and don't know or did not discover yet that you have 
PTSD. Thanks, Jessica, for sharing your story. And as you said, not everyone with PTSD has been through a traumatic event themselves. So people can develop PTSD if they, are, they see a friend or family member experiences danger or harm. As PTSD is often accompanied by depression or anxiety disorders, would you like to share with us about some uh, factors that increase the risk for PTSD? Maybe some factors that may help uh, people to promote recovery after trauma. Well, some of the factors that increase risk for PTSD, as I mentioned, some of my symptoms of my own post-traumatic stress disorder are those people like me who are experiencing some hurt inside and pain emotionally, physically, mentally was broken, just like me. I was broken in one night because of that traumatic event. Those people who witness their own pain or witness for other people, pain of seeing other people dying or being killed. Those people who are living through dangerous events and traumas in their life, for example, the army, the police, and any field of work that exposes people to traumatic experience. Those people who had a childhood trauma like me, some people are feeling horror, helpless, suicidal, hopeless and fearful when they are in the crowd or ever even being alone. They cannot get any support from their family, friends or others, especially dealing with extreme stress after the event. Sometimes not having social support can trigger our PTSD. Some people are fearful of losing their job, home, money, friends, or family, or even this COVID-19 is really cause for us a lot of stress. Also having a history of mental illness, substance abuse, drug, and alcohol addiction, or any kind of addiction, or even a sex. Gambling, social media can be a factor of rest of post-traumatic post-traumatic stress disorder wow wow i mean this is just um we do not even associate ptsd with our regular day-to-day -day life um all we hear is that soldiers who have recovered or came back from the war has gone through these type of symptoms but um well this is good stuff this is very knowledgeable thank you so much um, actually, I wanted to know is um, as immigrants that people are coming from other countries, what can we, uh, you know, like we go through so much, so much of uh, cultural shock, stresses that affect our mental health. What would be your advice to help other immigrants to cope with some of the stress and the challenges? Thanks, Madhu. That's a great question. I would like to encourage them to have a courage to find a support system that they can trust and be open about their traumatic events without judgment. Mm -hmm. Write it down, all the details of the event, especially the worst things that happen in the event that pop up in their mind. Write it down step by step. And if you are not comfortable to write it down as your journal of discovering your PTSD, try voice recording and listen to your voice and discover what happened to that event, where it happened and why it's happened and how, it, how you're feeling about it mm. and how your emotions was changed. And thinking every time you remember that event, the specific event of that trauma. I believe in your ability to become healthier and happier mentally, spiritually, physically, 
and finding balance in your lifestyle and healing from your past. I can help you overcome those challenges and live life to its full potential and guide you along the way of your healing process. That's wonderful. Great stuff, Jessica. If you think you or someone you know might be experiencing PTSD symptoms, please go to circlehc.org and book a free session with our Jessica Zamora. Thank you for Goodbye. Oh, you got up suddenly.